Hello there, Carol Dockham here with Beautiful Faces Going Places Women's Success Network. And I am so excited to continue with our Business Spotlight series. And our special guest today is uh, just a beautiful woman, a beautiful soul. And she is just so smart and savvy. I just love her dearly. Uh, Brenda Aveyard is a successful entrepreneur and business professional who has extensive experience and years of personal success her expertise is in sales training, implementation, and leadership programs. Brenda has traveled throughout the USA training others to be successful in sales and in leadership. She focuses on prospecting her clients to achieve, uh, wait, prospecting, uh, asking for the sale, and the often forgotten follow-up, which I know I have a tendency to forget that aspect of the sales process, you know, the follow-up. They say the fortune is in the follow-up. She guides her clients to achieve their full sales potential. Brenda takes pride in helping her clients achieve extraordinary results in an accelerated time. Brenda is also a published author, founder of the Top Performance Business School. She's a workshop facilitator, motivational speaker, as well as a business coach working with sales professionals, entrepreneurs, and coaches. Welcome, Brenda. Hey, thanks. I sound real important, Carol. Well, you are. <laughs> yes, Actually, you are. I'm Brenda. <laughs> yes. Hello, Brenda. Yes. Um, I'm just so happy to have you here, Brenda, and, and feature you as our business spotlight here at beautifulfacesgoingplaces.com. Uh, you are our upcoming uh, featured speaker presenter for our in-person Lunch and Learn networking mm -hmm. event next Wednesday, March yes. 30th. Yes. And uh, I just thought this would be a great opportunity to give everyone a heads up on, on what they can expect. Um, and let's just talk about sales in today's world, right? In 2022. Yes. yes. And I'll be happy to do that. And I'm going to kind of follow a little bit of the um, format that I'm going to use next week at our lunch and learn, but I'm going to add a component to it. And that's going to be worksheets. So if you decide you want to attend our lunch and learn, Carol will give you the link and everything and tell you how to do that. You're going to leave with some a solid plan for results because we're going to talk about three ways to generate more revenue in the next 90 days. And it's... Um, we're going to have a table and we're going to be able to sit there and do it. So we're going to do some work while you're there. And I think it's great to leave with a plan. So that's what I have planned for you. So what I find is that most business owners have one of two problems. They have the challenge is either not having enough leads or not understanding the sales process and how to prepare for it how to go through it and how to close it and follow up. So we're gonna to touch on the steps of the sales process more probably on Wednesday. But today I wanna to talk to you about how to generate leads and we'll go more in detail to it. But the only way we can generate leads, well, the main way is to get out there and be seen, be heard and be known. And you can do this in several different, in several different ways to be seen going out and actually being in front of people. I want to share with you right now that the world is opening up and people are hungry to go to live events. People are hungry to learn what other people are doing. People are hungry to be a part of something, to learn something, to be in a human dynamic situation. So take advantage of this in your business and be visible. You can do this. The number one way I always tell people is you do it by, you can do it by speaking. Think about it this way. I know everyone is a little nervous by nature about getting in front of a group and speaking. However, how else can you communicate with more than one person and have an opportunity for them to get to see your style, to see if they like you, to see if they want to get to know you better, to see if they may want to continue the relationship with you by getting your information sent to them by 
attending, you know, following you on social media, whatever those results are. But you have this opportunity to impact anywhere from five to 500 people. And I've done all of that. And it, the results from that is really, really strong. So think about speaking. If you don't know how to put a presentation together, book a call with me. All you have to do is go to uh, a gift from Brenda.com and you have a chance to sign up for my, um, my white paper on the eight mistakes entrepreneurs make, or you can backspace in and go in and book a call with me. And I will talk to you about your number one business challenge. And we can do that together. We can work through that together, but you know, on how to format your speaking and you can take the format that I give you and make it from a five minute presentation to a 20 minute presentation to a one hour presentation to a half day workshop. And I'll be happy to work with you on that, on that, um, that topic, but you need to get out there and be seen. You do this also at networking. When you go to a networking event, you need to go with an intention. You need to go with a um, great marketing message, not a just at I am Brenda and I'm a business and sales coach, uh, would love to talk to you. People get lost in that. So I'm going to teach you on Wednesday how to do a great marketing message. Um, you also have to go dress to work. I mean, you need to go in the image that you want to be projected to other people. Going to a live networking group is different than going to an online, a virtual. You can put on a sweater and nice jewelry and be great on online. But when you go, dress for the profession that you're in. Don't wear yoga pants unless you're a red yoga instructor, because how you appear is the perception people have of you. So if you're professional, dress professional. If you have a more casual business and a logoed shirt, let people see you as the professional that you are, because that is what you want to project to people so that they understand what you do. Be clear and concise and, you know, make an offer. An offer can be as simple as, you know, I'd love to continue this conversation in a one-on-one, -on -one. or I'd like to tell you more about my program. Or would you be, would you like to meet again and I can sample some of my products with you so you can actually have a chance to try them? You know, ask, ask is the number one thing in sales. So many people get so close. They work so hard at getting people excited that they don't ask them. Why? A couple of different reasons. A lot of that is we live in this box. OK, we want to be in this box because we want to have the confidence and courage to ask people to buy our product or service. But getting from here to here is painful. So you have to have a plan, rehearse the plan, know the plan when you go in public to talk about your business. The most important thing you can have is a great marketing message because your marketing message tells the world what you do. And nobody can tell them any better than you unless you don't take the time to create something that is impactful and can get people's attention in the first six minutes. So that's my deal on networking right now for today. We'll make some plans on how often you need to do it and how you choose where you're going to network on Wednesday. But to be heard, there are many ways that you can be heard. You can be heard on a podcast. And a podcast, folks, is a really great way to get your message out. And you don't have to stop. start with the top podcast person. Start with someone who has a smaller following. You know, Google podcasts for business coaches. And then, you know, contact them and say, I'd love to be a guest on your program. This is who I am. Uh, you can move up, and but it gets you an opportunity to present yourselves in a way that people who can't see you can hear you. And most podcasts will let you make an offer of some type. And don't ever turn down an offer to 
give a link for somebody to book a conversation with you because that's the most powerful thing that you can ask for is one on time one time with someone for 15 or 30 minutes because it gives you a point to communicate with them face to face what they may not have had the opportunity to do so don't rule out podcasts, it's also a great way to practice your message, practice what you say and how you talk about your business in a conversational manner, which is much easier than standing up in front of a group and speaking for some people. You know, run a session with Carol. Carol's a great interviewer. And interviewing people brings out the best in people. So you don't have to have everything that you're going to say like a robot you answer the questions but you do want to have three points three points that you want to make during that podcast and ask the podcaster can you make an offer which I recommend that you do either a white paper or a um, seven tips or a survey and get people to sign up for that so Make sure that you don't let the podcast opportunity get completely past you. Other ways that you can be heard is, yes, there are still radio stations. So you can be heard on a radio station. You can combine the two together and you can be Facebook Live, LinkedIn Live, Facebook Reels, LinkedIn Reels, Instagram. I don't think LinkedIn has Reels, but they do have video. But, you know... If your market is Instagram, you know, get on Instagram. They have reels now too, so that you have an opportunity to make a quick boom, boom, boom and get people's attention. That's what you want to do. You want to be seen. You want to be heard. Another way that you can communicate is being known through print. And that would be basically going out there and volunteering to be a writer for a business periodical. You can be a writer for a local newspaper. You can entertain questions, give answers. There are so many things that you can do to be seen, be heard, and be known. Uh, We're going to touch on a lot more of those when we get to Wednesday, and we're going to write a plan of exactly how we're going to do that. Um, To be known is just being out there and being present Be known is to become a great listener, become a person who can elicit people to talk to you, ask questions. Who do they want to talk about the most, you or them? I think you'll find they'll respond better when you talk to them about themselves, because that is the most important thing. Hey, I'm always willing to talk about myself. Ask me anything. I'm an open book. But I also open other people's books to get them to start thinking about a different way to do something or what their challenges are and to share that and not feel guilty about it because they're in a safe place. You need to know who you're talking to so that you can prepare for the conversation. So we're going to do a deep dive into some of these things on Wednesday that you do need to be able to speak, to be heard, and to be known. Be visible. That is the main thing. It's one thing I learned from my coach, the word visible, be visible. So I invite you to come and be visible at our Lunch and Learn, and you we have some tools to take and add to your toolkit and a plan for the next for the next three months. Also, um, we're going to talk about booking speaking gigs, and I'm going to walk you through how to do that and how to ask for that. And then we're going to talk about, Carol brought it up because it is a challenge, Carol, isn't it? Follow up. It is a, it is a challenge. Um, I mean, I know I experience it myself. So uh, yes, I think everyone struggles with the follow up and we do know that the fortune is in the follow up, right? It is. It's, and that's what you teach, right? Put implementing mm-hmm. systems so that you actually have a yes. process so that those uh, leads do not follow through the cracks or through the system, right? Yes. Um, 
And I just want to say um, that there's a reason why I love Brenda Aveyard. I think you guys just met her. You know her <laughs> now. And uh, her messaging is just so on point. I love how you, you talked about be seen, be heard, be known. And that is my philosophy as well. It's be seen, be heard, be found. And it's basically the same ele elements, right? The same mm -hmm. message. And um, it's all about getting your, your voice, your, your passion out into the world in all of these different formats and ways uh, and having fun with it along the way. So um, <laughs> you, your tips were just so on point. And I'm a note taker for those that know me. I love to take notes. Um, and, um, I, I just loved your message, Brenda, just about, uh, being visible and the different ways, you know, to be visible. And many of it is through just speaking, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we've created this monthly lunch and learn networking event so that our speakers, our experts, speakers, trainers, coaches, and experts can showcase and highlight their expertise. Uh, so that they can be found and you're leveraging numbers versus one-to-one, -one, right? Or a one-to-one mm -hmm. -one coffee. Um, I loved your, your message about uh, networking and, and how to go about effectively networking so that you're not wasting your time by setting your intention and uh, showing up as the professional that you are or showing up the way you want to be perceived, right? That's right. Perception is so important. That's why I talk about how you dress, how you act, how you carry yourself. You know, do you pull out a, a napkin off the table and take your notes? Or do you have a nice, you know, if they're not expensive, a nice leather look portfolio that you take notes in? One, about three years ago for Christmas, I bought all of my clients beautiful professional ink pens because, and I bought them, of course, a little glitzy because that's who I am. But you know, what are you writing with? It all plays a part in how people visualize you and how people relate to you. So think about those things. They're all little things, but they make a huge, huge difference, not only in the way you're perceived by other people, but how you feel about yourself when you go in to do that one-on-one, -on -one, that speaking, that networking, whatever you're doing it makes a huge difference. It really does. You're absolutely right. I mean, I know from experience, you know, uh, having either hosted networking events or attended networking events, because I, I do love to network. Uh, that's why I founded beautifulfacesgoingplaces.com to create those opportunities uh, to bring small business owners and entrepreneurs together to make those conversations, those connections. And uh, as a, an attendee myself, having that experience of being in a room and you just notice right away the person that walks in, they're put together, they're smiling, they have confidence, you know, they're happy to be there. They exude this confidence and energy and charisma and, and you immediately go, I want to meet that person. I mean, mm -hmm. that has happened to me. <laughs> And people think, well, I, I can't get a fancy wardrobe or these things. You don't need one. You know, all you need is a simple black dress or pantsuit if you're a female or a sport jacket, even over an open neck. Just come like you, like you want to be professional. I found when we were networking for the last couple of years, a lot on Zoom that a lot of people showed up just like, you know, no makeup, no nothing, a sweatsuit, and sometimes a pajama top. But you need to dress for what you do in any way because that perception stays. There have been people that I really was interested in what they said or what they did as a skill. But when it came to professionalism, they, they just took no time no time for themselves. And what if I wanted to have, if I was working with them and I wanted to have them at an event I was doing, it wouldn't, it wouldn't project my image. And, you know, everybody's image is different, but, you know, if you, your people that represent you, represent you too. So, you know, it may have kept a couple people from getting an opportunity 
to be visible at an event that I wanted to have them visible at, but I really couldn't do that. Does that make sense? That's a terrible thing to say. And I'm not saying it in a terrible way. I'm saying it as this is the way it is. So. It's, yeah, it's not a terrible thing at all. And it is, it is true. I think we all know that, you know, first impressions are lasting impressions. Yeah. I mean, and, everybody has a hairbrush. <laughs> it's going to come right. to a networking yes. meeting. <laughs> yes. Um, but I know I was just thinking, yes, and you do have frizzy hair on, you know, rainy days that you have to get under control. <laughs> Let's see, look at Carol. She can have frizzy hair and I bet none of you noticed it. Oh, because, I can. <laughs> because Carol has that warm smile, those wide open eyes, the excitement of being who she is, who she is. So people aren't picky, you know? She can grab people's attention anyway. Right. right. It, and all, you know, it all has a piece of every, everything is, has a piece as it's around it. Thank you for saying that, Brenda, because you're absolutely right. You know, I think about uh, the people that uh, I work with um, at Beautiful Faces Going Places. Um, I think about, we've got some amazing, amazing business members and mm. coaches and um, and and then I just see in the industry as a whole, small business owners, when they're attending our events, they're struggling with their sales. They have great products, right? They have great services, but there's something missing that they're not able to generate the revenue streams, you know? And like you said, there's so many different factors that would contribute, contribute to that. Uh, and... And one of it is, you know, the delivery, the, the messaging. I mean, there's so many different elements. And uh, I think people at the end of the day, they don't really care how much you know. Uh, I'm trying to think of that saying, they, they just want to know how much, how much you, you know until they know how much you care. Exactly, exactly. So it's all about just getting, as you say, get up, get out, dress up, get cute, get out. <laughs> You know, um, get up, get cute, get out. <laughs> thank you. I knew you would correct me on that one. Exactly. Get up, get cute, get out, and have fun with your business. And as entrepreneurs and small business owners, I know we're all passionate about what we do, right? So get out there, share your passion, share your excitement, share how you help your clients, and the right people are going to hear your voice and your message and uh and, and want to connect with you right or want to learn more and there's so many different ways to go about doing that as you shared with us today brenda yeah and you want to stay online and in person yes. because we don't know what will come in the future however get up and get out there is nothing more powerful than being in a room with like-minded people I know the people that come next Wednesday, Carol, are going to be psyched and hyped because they want to be better. And you need to be around people as much as you can that want to be better and they're eager to learn and they're eager to grow because when you're around that, you catch it as contagious and put yourself in that position. I'm doing a lot more networking you know, right now, because I want to meet the people. I want to know where they are, what they're doing. You know, how has this impacted you? What do you need? How can you grow? There's a, it's a new world. It is a new world. And it is a new, a new world. way. Yes. But if we're not out there experiencing it, how can we understand it and know it? And how can we grow? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I'll yeah, I'll share. I went to a networking event this week and there was a panel and I almost didn't go because I thought it was something that really didn't apply to me. It was a panel on um, hiring and it was a panel on the workforce, the way it has changed. And I found it to be so interesting, but I had a tendency to prejudge it. Have any of you done that? The title doesn't sound right. So it may not be right for me because I'm not looking for a job. I have my own business. However, let me tell you, I learned a lot of things and it applies to entrepreneurs or anything about how they are changing what they're offering people. Flex time, they're offering them 
you know, they're listening. A company of that needs to hire 400 people was there and they're telling us how they're listening to what people want. Uh, the difference in the things blue collar and white collar people want. I mean, it is amazing what I learned. And I had a one-on-one -on -one yesterday with someone. And what I learned at that networking meeting helped me have a very intelligent conversation with a businesswoman I was with that I didn't know because we started talking about husbands and wives working at home. And I mentioned to her, I said, you know, I went to this and everything. And she said, my husband works at home and they're enticing them to come back to work. And they're doing things like, you know, um, what's that real strong coffee drink? Um, espresso? Uh, espresso. They're putting espresso machines in the uh, break rooms and cappuccino makers and curing coffee pot, coffee that you can make your coffee fresh right when you put it in there. Uh, flex times. I mean, it's it's amazing how the great resignation has enabled employers to really listen to what people want. And it's just changing the way business is done. And that applies to all of us that are entrepreneurs too, because we need to know what people want. It may be different what people want from you now than it was three years ago. Just keep that in the back of your mind too. I absolutely nice. love that. Yes. And you won't, I mean, you don't know, you don't know what you don't know until you show up, right? With That's an right. open, open mind, open ears, open heart. And uh, I, you, as you, as you shared so many different takeaways just from uh, showing up. So uh, I'm excited about next Wednesday. So Me we, too. Are, yeah, we are hosting a in-person lunch and learn networking event on March 30th at the Double Tree Suites by Hilton in, in Sharonville, Ohio, uh, 6300 East Kemper Road, Sharonville, Ohio. All of the information and ticket information registration is listed on our website at beautifulfacesgoingplaces.com. You can also find us on Eventbrite or reach out to me um, and I'd love to share more information about our event. Um, and we actually host virtual networking events, in-person events, empower hours, business spotlights, all kinds of cool things here uh, so that you as an entre entrepreneur, small business owner can be seen, be heard, be found. So I want to give a shout out to Brenda Aveyard. Thank you so much, Brenda, for, for this phenomenal uh, session, Business Spotlight, for sharing your lead insights. And we're excited to learn more about uh, the three keys to boost your sales now in the next 90 days. So uh, thank you so much, Brenda. Brenda, before we wrap up, where, is the, best, <laughs> where is the best place <laughs> for our audience, our viewers to connect with you if they'd like to learn more? Okay, you can go to my website, which is brendaaviard.com, or you can go to a gift from brenda.com. This will give you an opportunity to get a white paper that I wrote, which is the eight mistakes that most entrepreneurs make and how to recover from those. It's only going to be up for a short time because I'm switching that out within the next um, month. And um, you, there's also a button on there. When you register to get that, you'll get it immediately. But you can backspace and go in and actually book a call with me where I will be happy to discuss your number one business challenge with you. And if you aren't, if you are not in the Ohio area that you can attend our um, lunch and learn next week. If you go in and book a call with me, I can um, talk to you and get your information, actually send you the worksheet that we use next week. I'd be happy to do that. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Brenda. Have a great day. And we cannot wait to see your beautiful faces soon. So come and join us for lunch and learn or join us on our online events as well. All right, take care. Thank Bye you, everyone. Carol. And thank you all for your time and visiting with us today. Thank you so much. Bye.